Welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on circles and specifically the area and circumference, but I also want you to understand a few of the parts in case you've forgotten over time. For instance, there's the center of the circle, which is the middle. All the points along the edge of the circle are equal distance away from the center. There's a radius, which is the distance from the center out to the uh, edge of the circle, and that can be anywhere, you know, you can have a radius any positioned anywhere on there. If you double the radius or you go clear through the center, you get the diameter, but the diameter has to go through the center. If you notice, it's stuck in the center. It's going through the center. No matter how I form this circle, a diameter goes through the center. And then there are chords. Chords don't go through the center, but a chord is any line segment whose endpoints lie on the edge of the circle. So make sure you know the difference between a chord, a diameter, and the radius, and what the center is. And that will be your first assignment, which should go very quickly and easily, because it's just asking you, which one's a chord? Which one's the center? Which one's the radius? What is the diameter? Then you're going to be doing finding the area of a circle, given the radius, which area is always the number pi times the radius squared. Likewise, you might be going the other direction. You might be given the area of a circle. It might have to find the radius. So you might actually have to divide by pi and square root to get the radius. It might even ask for the diameter. So then you'd have to double the radius because the, the diameter is double the radius. That's why I have down here the circumference is pi times the diameter. That's the way most elementary teachers will teach it, pi times the diameter. But as you move into high school, they'll write it as 2 pi r. Just remember, twice the radius is the diameter. 2 r is the diameter, and there's your pi. And so sometimes you'll be given uh, the radius and asked to find the circumference. So you double the radius times by pi. Or you might be given the circumference, and you're asked to find the um, radius or the diameter, and you might have to go backwards. So let's show you some of these examples of what you might have to do. For instance, here it gives us a circle with a radius of two and asks us what is the circle's circumference. Now, circumference, remember, is the diameter or twice the radius times pi. So I'm going to do twice the radius, which is four, and I'm going to times that by pi. So I'm going to do 4 times pi. Now be very careful here. It specifically asks you to use 3.14 as pi. So I'm going to use a calculator here, and I'm going to take 4, and I'm going to times it by 3.14, and that equals 12.56, 12.56, and I'm going to write that whole answer down. Nor in here does it say to round or anything like that. So I'm going to type in 12.56. 0.56 and hit submit and we get it correct. Here's another problem. It says the diameter of a circle is four miles. What is the circle's area? So it gives us the diameter. We don't want the diameter. We need the radius. Well, if the diameter is four, then the radius would be two. And then I square that because I get two squared times my pi. 2 squared is 4, and I already know what 4 times pi is. I did it in the previous problem. 4 times pi is 12.56. So again, come over here, 12.56, and hit submit. Those happen to have the exact same answer. Now be careful on this one. This one's going to be a little bit harder because it says the radius of the circle is 4 inches. What is the circle's circumference? So circumference uses twice the radius, not the radius squared. It's an easy mistake students will start to make. They'll start to accidentally add when they should be subtracting. I thought that erased it. All right, so let's do that. The circumference then would be the twice the radius, which would be 8 times my pi or 8 pi. So I grab my calculator and I go 8 times 3.14 and I get 25.12. So 8 times pi is 25.12. And again, do not do any form of rounding and don't use your pi button on your calculator. Otherwise, you'll get a wrong answer or because it wants you to use 3.14 as pi. OK, 
Okay, so here it says the circumference of a circle is 18.84 yards. What is the circle's diameter? So this is one we're going to go the different direction. So since I'm given the circumference, I'm going to take 18.84. 18.84, that's a horrible 8. And I'm going to divide by 3.14 because normally you take the diameter and times by 3.14 to get the circumference. So I'm going to go the other direction. So I grab my calculator, do 18.84. I divide by 3.14 and I get 6. So the circle's diameter is 6. Okay, here is probably the next one that's the hardest. The area of the circle is 50.24 square yards. What is the circle's radius? Well, to find the radius, I'm going to have to take 50.24, and you need to divide by pi first. That gives you not the radius. It gives you the radius squared. So I'm going to divide by 3.14. And again, I'm going to use a calculator to do that. So I grab my calculator. I do 50.24. I divide by 3.14. And that equals 16. Now, 16 is not the radius. You've got to be careful here. It's equal to the radius squared. So i got to square root these now, right? And when I square root these, what's the square root of 16? It's 4. So my radius would be 4. So be very careful when you're going backwards that you divide by pi first, and then you either square root if you're looking for the radius, and you've been given the area. And um, here is the diameter of a circle, 17.12. What is the circle's area? Now, again, I'm given the diameter. I want the radius. So I'm going to actually have to divide this by 2. So I take my 17.2 and I divide by 2 to get the radius. Again, I'm just going to grab a calculator. 17.2 divided by 2 equals 8.6. Now that's the radius, so I'm going to take 8.6. I'm going to square that radius, and then I'm going to times it by pi, or 3.14. So I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to take 8.16. I'm going to times it by itself, 8.6, not 1.6, 8.6 equals 73.96. Then I'm going to times that by 3.14, and I get this big long number. Here now it does, be careful, it says round your answer to the nearest hundredth. The nearest hundredth is this 3. Here's a 4, so I'm not going to raise it up. So my answer is going to be 232.23. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email or uh, my uh, live Zoom uh, office hours, which is in the afternoons from 1 to 2, and we will see you at that point.